What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a things I'm loving video. I just wanted to share with you guys some little things. I have some home, fashion, and beauty items that I'm currently loving. I'm going to first start off with fashion clothing stuff. So basically like the two things or the biggest change that I've made as of late is injecting color into my wardrobe. It's been like a gradual thing. If you used to watch my videos like three or four years ago, I only wore neutral clothing. Like my closet was straight up just white, black, and gray. As like the years went on, I started adding a little bit more color. As of late, I've been wearing bright colors and I'm just loving it, both in like home decor, in style. It just feels very joyful. I'll show you a couple of affordable options. These are all from Shein that I've just randomly been getting. The first one is this amazing blue sweater from Shein and it has these really cute ruffled sleeves. I just love it and the texture of it is amazing. I'll have all of it linked down below. I also have some other really good sweaters. This is a great way to just make your winter wardrobe a little less drab. Um, so I have this one which you guys have seen also from Shein. It's just like a hot pink bright pink sweater. This orange one is new from Shein that I just got. Balloon sleeve sweater. Really cute. This is one of my absolute faves and I just when I wore this to work I felt so truly joyful in this. And I posted on Instagram stories and so many of you loved it. And it's really affordable. I think it's like 20 bucks. It's this white rainbow little sweater dress. It is so cute. I just wear it with white booties, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. And I just loved it. And then I love this new beanie I got, which is like this pink star beanie. So I'll wear like a little neutral coat, just this pop of pink on your head. It's so cute, right? If you guys watch my work outfit of the week so you'll know that my outfits are basically always been paired with these two shoes lately so first are my golden goose this is my first pair of golden goose sneakers and i'm obsessed with them they are a distressed sneaker brand and they are a little bit more expensive so i was really apprehensive about buying them but i have worn these to death they're like getting disgusting already and i've only had them for like three months just gray and white the stressed little sneakers and they have stars on the side most of them are a lot more colorful not colorful but like set sequins and more um patterned and stuff like that but these are a great basic pair they look great with everything dress up a look i've been loving these white square toed booties they are my fave i wore it with that sweater dress they're great with literally any outfit they look amazing and they're just a little bit of a heel so they're perfect for work i got these like three years ago at some random like cheapy website um so i don't have the exact link but i found so many pairs very similar to this so i'm gonna have those listed down below i just love a white cream booty it's great for the winter um even though it's white it just it looks good with literally anything a dress midi skirt looks good over um it looks great with jeans That's it for style now i'll go to home because i have recently as you guys know i moved to new york city in like Six months ago now and so we have been kind of redecorating our apartment a little bit if you guys want to see how we kind of decorated the apartment let me know I've had clips that I've been filming kind of over the past couple months as it's been coming together and it looks quite different than when we first got here are these coasters which I'm loving we got a coffee table and have this like tray with coffee table books um, and I need coasters for it and so I got these they are from Jonathan Adler it's a now house by Jonathan Adler so if you guys know Jonathan Adler it's very pricey stuff but these are a little bit cheaper I think they're like 50 so they're not so bad for his stuff just like this vertigo rainbow print they just add a bit of color and I think these are really cute and they just add a nice pop to the little layout on the coffee table and something else I'm loving I actually have two of them they are from Rose Forever New York and they are just this black they're like the eternal roses love the case it comes in it's just a black velvet and so this one is the small size but it's actually a really good size we put it in our tv console um and they're beautiful i also have a smaller size on my desk at work and it just i get so many compliments on them they're so cute they're supposed to last like over a year and they're just white roses they're really really pretty and they just look great for decorating a desk at work and they bring a lot of liveliness to my desk they look great in our apartment very reasonably priced so i will have them linked down below definitely check it out on to beauty a lot of this is like hair care focused i got it balayaged a couple of like 
two months ago maybe and I've just been trying to take care of my hair. The shampoo and conditioner I've recently started using is from R Plus Co. It's their television hair conditioner and shampoo. They smell amazing. They just lather really well and they just they work. I really really love them. They smell so so good. I love the packaging of them. They make my hair look nice and shiny but not too hydrated they don't weigh my hair down they don't have any sulfates or parabens which is great and a new addition that i just got and you'll see i haven't used a ton because you don't need a lot of it it's from the brand ogx and it's their refreshing scalp and tea tree mint scalp treatment about a year ago i had a very stressful senior year of college i feel like i was very stressed and it like made me kind of lose hair i don't know if it was related to that it wasn't like chunks of hair but it's just gradual over time i feel like my hair has been thinning and i think it's just from stress so i've been trying to take better care of my scalp and if you guys have any tips for like thinning hair and like how to thicken hair that's been thinned that kind of stuff well, please let me know i have recently been getting dry scalp just two from being in the new york city winter and so i got this and i've just been using this every time i wash my hair and i just massage it into my scalp it smells incredible and i think it's just really good for like scalp health it doesn't make my hair look greasy or anything it's very light oil and i feel like it's just refreshing to the scalp it's good for the scalp health next thing that i'm loving i've been taking so many baths like i take like two baths a week and i just love it it's so relaxing i can't even explain so what i do is i've been using this our acacia relaxing lavender bubble bath and it's with actual lavender essential oil and this is a good brand of essential oils I use this with just generic plain epsom salt and that's really good for like aches and all that kind of stuff so it's really good if you have like especially at work you sit at a desk and stare at a computer i feel like it just helps with like aching backs and just smells good and gives bubbles to the bath and the last thing is lifestyle related these anthropology like daily journals so i got this one and then one of my friends it's like the funniest thing ever one of my friends sarah sent me a like care package during mercury retrograde she got me this daily um journal called calm the chaos it's also from anthropology both of them are basically just like things you can use in the morning or night every day and they just set your attentions for the day they're like prompted journals an act of kindness i did my most memorable moment what i'm grateful for um, and then setting your attention for the day ahead. So I use this at night. If you had a bad day, it's good for like reflecting on what you were at least grateful for that day, just to kind of reset, end the day well, and then set the intention for the day ahead. That is the things that I'm loving right now. I will have them all listed down below. Be sure to leave me a comment with what you're loving right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.